Hi everyone, this is DJ Anderson again, and I am bringing another video to you to show you how to utilize the browser, library, and designs tabs inside of Floriani FTCU software. Um, there have been some questions about it, so I wanted to give you a rundown so that you know how to best utilize these features. Now, um, these are basically some light um, cataloging type features found in FTCU. Um, Floriani does also have a program called uh, My Design Album, and that is a wonderful um, cataloging tool um, software, and it does so many amazing things. So if you're the type of person that really wants to take control of your um, embroidery designs and where to find them and how to access them, I highly recommend that program. Um, to anyone who um, has trouble locating, finding, and keeping their designs organized, um, it is it is a pretty amazing tool. At some point, I'll probably do a video on that. Uh, but there are some features inside of Floriani Total Control U that you can utilize to access designs uh, pretty easily and drag and drop them into the system. And um, all it takes is a little bit of organization on your part and knowing where your designs are. So if you do organize your your um, designs on your computer, you should have no problem utilizing these features. Um, it just doesn't really have any real search capabilities or adding tags and adding them to categories like the My Design Album does, but it does, the in Total Control U, it does do quite a bit. So these features that I'm going to be discussing are located on the right hand side of the software. You'll see these tabs called browser, library, and designs. So let's start with the browser. Browser is basically, it's kind of like opening up Windows Explorer on your computer. These are just different um, folders where folders are located on your computer where if you know where designs are located for instance, um, if you go to your, your C drive, um, if you've installed the software, you will automatically have this Floriani folder. And if I hit the plus symbol, you'll see that there are some designs and I have one for Total Quilter. So if I click on Floriani and I go to designs, you'll notice that I have a couple files located in there. Um, I only have three that were saved into there. If I go back to browser and I um, click on this designs tab, you know, click on that, come over, and you'll notice that I don't see anything. And so why don't I see anything when I click on that folder? Well, the reason is, is because this is a master folder that has other folders inside, but there are no designs just saved right into the designs folder. They're all saved inside of these other folders located inside a designs folder. So if I click on angels and I come over to designs, and I'm just hovering over it. I'm not clicking on it. I'm just putting my mouse over it. You'll see that there's two designs there. So to help you make sense of this, I'm gonna bring up Windows Explorer. And in Windows Explorer, you'll see that I'll go to that same file. I'll go to the C drive on my computer and I'll go into Floriani. And notice that I have three designs here. Those were the designs that when I clicked on Floriani that showed up. Okay, so if I come over here to the browser, let me move this away a little bit. If I come over to browser and I click on just Floriani, that's the same thing is right here, C drive Floriani. So I'm gonna go to browser, I'm gonna click on Floriani and notice that when I go over to the designs, those are the three designs that now show up. So um, what I did is I clicked on this designs tab and no designs showed up in this designs preview. And that's all that this uh, tab is. The designs preview is going to show you what designs you have access to. And I'll show you how you'll click and drag to bring them into the software. But um, you'll notice if I go to and I just click on designs, I have no designs there. That's because I'm in this folder and there is no designs just sitting here. There's only folders inside of this designs um, folder. So now if I click on 
like uh, free monthly designs. Notice that there's still there's no designs in here. I have to drill down into let's say April 2010 and then I start seeing some designs. Okay, um, so you can see what those are. So let's go over here to the browser and let's do that same thing. I went to Floriani designs and free monthly designs. I hit that little plus symbol April 2010 I go over here and now you'll see that those designs show up um, in the designs tab. So that's basically how it works is it's just Explorer that you have access to inside of the software. So it's just like going to the Windows Explorer and finding a design. As long as you know where a design is located, you can use this browser section and it will take you um, it'll allow you to click through to find where a design is located on your computer and then you'll click on the folder that the, the design is inside of and then it will preview right here and you'll have access to it where you can click and drag it onto the screen which I'll show you that. So that's the browser. It's just made to go and find on your computer where designs are located library tab is a little bit different um, this is one that's like kind of predetermined inside the software so if I bring up my Windows Explorer again basically what it is is it is this folder right here on your C drive and Floriani this one is always gonna be there in this library tab and so let me go ahead and click on Floriani and you'll notice it says designs total quilter you know then you've got the the, the uh, three files so if I come over here to the library um, let me click here it's actually in the Floriani designs so this is the location of the library and this is where um, when you get free monthly designs with the software um, this is where when you install those free monthly designs it automatically throws it into this folder under the free monthly designs so if you install the free monthly designs you're always going to have access to them right here in this library tab where you can just um, hover over it again I'm not clicking on it but then I'll come over here and click on the plus symbol and it's going to allow me to see all the different months and I can go into any of those click the 2018 for October let's just say and I can come over to designs and it will show those to me okay so this library tab is how you're going to access anything that comes with the software or um, it's kind of what when I was doing the software I used to throw all the designs into so it made it easy for you to find and access them. So um, that's the difference between the browser and the library is just that this is predetermined it's going to a specific location on your computer so that you can access things faster. Now this already exists in the browser too so this is the same thing as going to the browser tab C Drive, Floriani, and Designs. So you can access it through the browser it's just easier through the library tab so if you just want to quickly and easily get to those. So if you wanted to have access to Designs from this library tab like um, let's say you really want to organize things and you want to make it quicker you don't want to have to browse through and see all of these different um, things that your computer you know where you can search on your computer you can save things directly into this library folder all you have to do is um, either copy some designs I would create some more folders inside of this C Drive Floriani folder designs folder anything that you add inside of here whether it be just designs or folders that have designs in them will show up over here in this libraries tab so just for an example um, this I might have to refresh but let me just take these three designs right here and I will um, copy them and I will come over to this designs folder so C Drive Floriani designs and I will 
just throw those in here. Okay, so now I'll come back over to this library tab, and you'll you'll see that it's not it's not quite showing up right now. It's probably going to have to refresh. Um, and let me go ahead and throw them into a folder just in case to get it there a little bit quicker. So I will take and I will just create a new folder. And I'll just call it uh, my folder. And I'll grab these and I'll throw them inside of my folder. So you can see that they're in there under Floriani Designs My Folder. I'll come back over here and go to the library. And you'll notice that it hasn't showed up yet. And so what I can do is I can close the software, open it back up, and it will most, it should be there. So um, let me go ahead and do that and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back now. And uh, what I'm going to do is go over to the library tab and show you that the my folder is now there. The one I just created and threw designs into. If I select it and then go to designs, you'll see that they show up there. So you have the ability to create your own um, or create your own folders inside of that library tab um, and throw designs in there. And if you do, it's just going to make it easier to find it right under this library tab inside of the software. So it's not a difficult thing to do. Um, it's pretty easy. So now I want to show you that once you kind of locate them and you can view them inside of this designs tab, what you need to do with them. So I'm going to minimize this. I'm going to come over to this designs um, tab and I'm just going to take this uh, file right here. I select it and I drag it into the software. So when I do that, it brings it in, and now I can edit it, or I can um, do whatever I need to do with it. Maybe I just need to save it into a different format. One of the things that I do want to point out is um, when I select this, you'll see that it selects everything. The other thing is, is when you drag and drop it in, it does not convert it to outline. So you'll see that it just says stitches here. This was a, uh, a file that was not digitized inside of Floriani FTCU software. It was digitized years ago and it's basically like a PES file. Um, and so when I brought it in, when you bring anything in from this designs tab, it does not convert it to outlines. And there isn't like a setting that you can go and say, hey, I want it to bring it in with outlines every time. But that's also why a while back um, I added into the software the ability to convert stitches to outlines from within the sequence view just by selecting objects right clicking and go to convert to outlines so you have that ability to do it if you want to but I wanted to point out that if you bring in a design that isn't a uh, design that was created in the software and also in the WAF format that it is going to bring it in as stitches but like I said you can get around that but that's kind of the ins and outs of the um, browser library and designs. It's pretty straightforward, but at the same time, if you haven't really played with it, it might be a little confusing. So I will just uh, really quick, you have your browser. You can find anything that's on your computer, any folders where designs might be. Um, we have the library tab, which is the very specific folder on your computer, which is on your C drive. Uh, Floriani folder and then designs folder anything inside of that folder is going to show up inside of here and you can select anything um, from either the browser or the library that has designs in it and then go to the designs tab and it will show you what designs are in that folder you selected once you find what it is that you want uh, the design you want you just select it and drag it into the software. And that was actually a, a cross stitch design that is hard to see unless you um, really zoom into it. But anyways, it's pretty simple and straightforward. So do you need design cataloging software um, for people who really want to get organized and find a lot of their stuff? 
simply, then I would say yes. Um, like the program, like My Design Album, is incredible. I use it all the time, um, and it allows you to actually find designs and open them directly up into Floriani Total Control U. But if you don't need that, if you're pretty organized on your computer and you know where designs are located, you know, simply using this browser library and designs tab inside of Floriani Total Control U software, it might be all that you need. Um, so, um, but these features are pretty powerful and I think that there are uh, features that aren't utilized as much as they probably should be or can be. So, hope you enjoy this video and we'll see you in the next one.